Ready? All right, sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. How's that? Yeah. Okay. On today's plate, we're going to go to Bryce Canyon. Thor's ready to go, aren't you? Huh? Mm. Thor's always ready to go. Thor's always ready to go. So we've already done uh, Zion. Well, you said it right. I said it right. <laughs> I usually call it Zion. Yeah, see. And then Thor's, I want to smack him. Thor's ready to go. You ready to go? <laughs> okay. He's all ready to go. Okay, get him. Get him. <laughs> that didn't work uh, out so well. No. Here, come over He's here. He's excited. No, over here. Over here. Over here. Here, there you go. Now sit down. He wants between us, so. There, sit down. <laughs> Good boy. God. It's gross. There we go. So we're going to give this a shot today. It is about an hour drive from where we're at. Maybe a little less. It's 18 miles to the back of the loop. And then you got to come back out. So we're going to give it a, our best shot to get some good video to show you guys what it looks like. You got anything? Well, I was just going to say it's, a, it's an 18-mile drive in the canyon, and there's only one entrance, unlike Zion yesterday, where we went in one entrance and we went out the other, not realizing that when we went out the other exit, that it was going to be like, a, I don't know, a three or four hour drive home instead of a one hour drive home that we were anticipating. Um, but that all turned out to the good because we went up and over the <coughs> mountain and shh, saw some great scenery and uh, found a great place to have lunch. So, you know, we're all about adventuring. So it worked out just fine. I'm not sure he thinks that that was such a good idea going up over the top. He yeah. barked at you. I know. He's like, liar. He didn't like getting stuck in the truck while we went out to lunch. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> All right. I say that uh, we get this show on the road and go have some fun before it gets too hot today. And before Thor gets all antsy. Rawr. Right, you gotta kiss me though. Oh, oh yes, he's not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. We haven't even made it into Bryce Canyon yet, and we already had to stop and take in the view. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it probably only gets better from here. I haven't even made it into Bryce Canyon yet, and it's absolutely pretty here. So we've still got 14 miles to go to get into Bryce Canyon. We've already made two stops. This is our second. If the canyon is anything like this, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Looks like we're going to get to go through a tunnel here. I like tunnels. Still gorgeous scenery. Well, we made it to the end of the road. It's 18 miles. Dead ends here in this little canyon. We're at 9,115 feet. There's a one mile loop up here at the end of the road. So we made it all the way to the top. Um, almost all of the 
pullouts where you can view the canyon are on the left hand side of the road as you're coming up so we made the decision to drive all the way to the top and then we'll stop at all the different lookouts on the way down but this is quite an impressive view from up here Feel free to pause it and read everything there. Give you a little different view. It's a long ways to the bottom here. If you look in the middle of your screen there, it looks like a couple of caves. Hard to see them, but they're there. I'm going to go right up there, and then when you get done, I'm going to tell you what, man, these cliffs go straight up and down pretty cool looking though tell you what it don't get much prettier than that check out those cliffs in the back of me too <laughs> they're not too bad either just saying Such awesome rock formations. I'd love to go down there and just wander, wander through the different rocks. Well, I'd like to do it when it was, you know, 65 degrees instead of 85. Alright, I don't know if you can see behind me on that high point there. Yep, there's a gal walking up there on that. That right there, folks, is the reason they put the warnings on the plastic bags. Shameful. Decided to sit down and take a little bit of a break, and I'm over there looking at Retta doing a video also. She's right there by the blue pickup. Hard to see, but... It's zoomed in all the way. Yeah, there's a picture of uh, three people up there on that cliff. One's going out even farther. I'll give you an idea. Oh, you see the butterfly? Went by me a couple times there. Anyway, that's that's a pretty big cliff there. Just like the sign says, Black Birch Canyon.
hundred dollars for uh, going outside the boundaries. You don't want to get fined here. I haven't seen a park ranger yet today, other than the one that tried to charge us to get in. It's looking pretty cool out there. This nice connecting trail you can go from this camp or from this uh, lookout over to the next one but as Lynn said then you have to walk back and get your car I think this is more for people who are riding the shuttles so you can jump off the shuttle here walk over to the next one and pick up the shuttle again if you want it sounds like a great plan views up here um, are, I mean, they're basically the same. They're big red sandstone rock formations that are absolutely beautiful. Um, but each one is also unique. Very cool place to visit. That tree right in the middle of the frame there has two crows in it. And right over there, I don't know if you can see it in the shade, there's another one. Temperature's only in the low 70s, I believe. You're seeing the wildlife we're seeing. <laughs> yeah. Like Retta said, that's the only wildlife we've seen, so. They're too far away to feed them. Man, that is a good view behind me there. Check that out. This place is pretty darn awesome. I'm not sure, but that sure looks like blue rock to me. Hmm, interesting. Now this is a truly awesome rock formation right here. They call it a natural bridge, but it's actually an arch. And uh, the verbiage over here on the sign said it could last for thousands of years or it could collapse tomorrow, even though it appears solid right now. But this is pretty awesome. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see it without my face in it. That's pretty awesome. So we're still proceeding down the mountain here. Stop by at this uh, natural bridge. Looks pretty awesome. Be a hell of a water slide if it had water in it there. Ooh, or snow tubing. It might be a little dangerous, I don't know, but might be worth a try for you, not me. <laughs> Got the old crow here trying to get something to eat. Hi, dear. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> this was I'm so sure. supposed to be a photo. Oh, it's not a video. Well, you're on video. I'm so on video, evidently. So, never mind. I'll take a photo now. Do you already turned off? Yeah. <laughs> so, I gotta admit, this is real pretty here, but after a while. You're looking at the same stuff over and over again. <laughs> it's not too bad, I guess, but... Don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying it. But man, oh man.
Kind of like being at Zion National Park the other day. You know, it's pretty much all the same. They got some cool different outcroppings and stuff, but these crows though at these places, I'll tell you what, they're pretty friendly. He flew right up beside me a minute ago. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything for him. All right, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me or not because all the wind noise, but. June 14th of 2009, I had a lightning strike. Burnt almost 4,000 acres. And it's starting to come back. All right, check this out. Sorry about the buggy windshield, but hey, hey, you're going through a red rock tunnel. That's pretty cool, huh? Wait a minute, you're going through another one. That's twice as cool. This is our last stop before we head out of the out of the park for the day. This is called Fairyland Canyon. I can see why it's named that. They look like little fairy castles down there. You can do a hike through Fairyland Canyon. It's a little over eight miles. Um, not something I can do, but I bet it'd be great if you could do it. I want to go right down there in the middle of that big one. That looks cool. Well, that concludes our Bryce Canyon trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give us a like consider subscribing and if it was really good share it with other people too it will help our channel grow we are still new at this we're still learning but we want to make this part of our lifestyle and hopefully uh, we can give you guys some good tips for when you retire and travel and if you're already retired maybe you ought to be giving us some good tips leave them down in the comments Right, and why don't you tell us about your experiences in Bryce Canyon because we'd love to hear about them. Oh, definitely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we forgot our drinks.